Hi, I'm Christine. After working hard for many years, accumulating material things, I decided to sell it all. Now I travel living out of my SUV with my old and blind best friend, Chase the Dog. We roam the US looking for adventure, food, and fun. If you'd like to be our travel buddy, then like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Join our Patreon or YouTube membership community for exclusive perks and content. In this video, I have a blast camping on an island in the Great Salt Lake of Utah. The island is full of natural beauty and wild bison. I eat plenty of good food, take some epic walks and drives, explore a ranch from the 1800s, and float in the Great Salt Lake. Hello friends. I have just finished all of my morning chores. I am about ready to head to Antelope Island, but before we hit the road, I bought myself a little treat I wanna try. It is Haagen-Dazs brand yogurt. This is one of my favorite ice cream brands, so the yogurt has to be good too. It is vanilla bean flavor. Let's give it a try. Let me check the ingredients. It has vanilla bean pieces. I recently realized that most of Everything that is flavored with vanilla is artificial. So this has legitimate vanilla bean pieces inside of it. Expectations are high. Mmm. And they have been met. Wow, that is some tasty yogurt. You do wanna like eat it slowly and savor it like ice cream. I wasn't really craving sweets this morning, but I'm so glad I got this. This is a wonderful treat. It even smells good and vanilla-y. This is good enough to lick the lid. All right, let's hit the road. Dude, I see the first herd of buffalo. There's like 40 of them. I just crossed the gate into the park. Hold on, I'm gonna pull over. You won't really be able to see them in great detail, but there's like mountains in the back. I've literally been here 10 seconds. <laughs> this is my view to the left, and this is my view to the right, and that's just past the gate, so like I cannot imagine how great the rest of the island is. As I drive a little further, I think those might be cows. <laughs> because we're not on the island yet. There's this entire long causeway that takes you from land to the island. So I just paid the entrance fee at the gate, which is like at the beginning of the causeway. Yep, they're cows. <laughs> Still a really pretty landscape here. And even the cows look awesome with the mountains in the background. So we're about to go over the causeway onto the island where there are actual bison. Well, it's pretty freaking awesome here already. I keep stopping and I've only been like a mile into the causeway because it's just so pretty in every direction. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick them up, but all across the coastline, there are what looks like little black kind of whirlpools swirling. They're actually swarms of bugs. The bug swarm is real. I hope these don't bite. They are everywhere. First bison sighting for real. They're close enough. I can confirm it's a bison. They are so huge. It's just so cool to see like wild animals up so close. Makes you feel like you've gone back in time. Man, I want to hug them, but I know that's a terrible idea. They just look so awesome. I just went a little bit further down the road and there are more bison. I have a feeling they're going to be everywhere here. I'm still going to stop and take a picture. Oh, they're so close to the road. These guys are just so huge and majestic. They're so furry, they're kind of cute like a teddy bear, but they will kick your butt if you get close to them. First things first, I want to secure a campsite for the night. The entrance fee to this park is $15 and the cheapest campsite is $20. I wasn't sure if the entrance fee went towards the camping fee, so I just wanted to wait till I got here and look around and confirm that, which it does. So for five more dollars, I can camp here, so I'm totally doing that. The lady at the entrance said I could drive around and pick my favorite spot and then pay the difference at the visitor center, so that's what we're doing first. 
I have scoped out the campsite that I want. I picked a backup just in case that's not available. I found a nice spot right by the water. So I am headed to the visitor center to check it out and to pay the additional five bucks. got the site I wanted and so for five more dollars I can camp here and stay here all day tomorrow too that is a deal it is a really primitive campsite though there's not really much to do there it's a beautiful view so I do plan on spending some time there but first I'd like to make lunch and I found a better picnic spot just on the other side of the visitor center so we're headed there now this morning at the grocery store I found some sweet and spicy cocktail meatballs half off. There's enough in here to make lunch and dinner. I love meatballs so I am really looking forward to this meal. I'm gonna put about half of the meatballs in now and then I got this sweet chili sauce so that I'd have like a nice flavorful liquid to simmer it in. The primary ingredients in here are pickled chili, pickled garlic, and sugar. So I'm sticking with the sweet and spicy theme. I'm gonna pour some of the sauce in there and turn the stove on. I just want to coat all of the meatballs with that sauce. That'll help them cook as well. I'm gonna cover it up too because that helps conserve the heat. Good to go. I am ready to dig in. This looks amazing. Mmm. That is hitting the spot. It has so many flavors. It is spicy, it is sweet, it is sour. The meatballs are juicy. The sweet chili sauce pairs perfectly with the meat. There are big chunks of pepper in here. The meatballs are warm all the way through, so that was a success. This whole meal was a success. I'm going to finish fueling up here and then we're gonna go explore the island. Chase is just chilling here in the shade of the pavilion. I am going to go climb up on those rocks over there and just go as far as I can while still seeing Chase. I bet you it has a really nice view of the Great Salt Lake. Toledo, we found the mother load, pulling over. Located at the edge of Antelope Island State Park is the Fielding Gar Ranch. This ranch is an enchanting time capsule that allows visitors to step back into the 1800s and experience the rugged beauty of the American West. This property feels like it belongs in a storybook and is open for the public to explore. Seeing the old-timey setup for sheep shearing was particularly interesting. Established in 1848, the ranch is one of the oldest continuously operated ranches still in existence. I saw several beautifully preserved historic buildings that whisper stories of the past. Stepping inside these buildings feels like being transported to a time of rustic simplicity. The ranch house is the oldest Anglo building still standing on its original foundation in Utah. I loved gazing at the antique furniture and tools that were part of everyday life back then. They have kept things just as they would have been 175 years ago when this ranch was established. Every item on display captures the essence of the Old West. I feel like I'm back in my great grandma's house here. Due to its remote location, the ranch had to be self-sufficient, so it included things like a blacksmith shop. The ranch has lots of old equipment that gives you a glimpse at the timeline of evolution at this ranch. I saw the coolest mobile home on a wagon. 
these guys were the OG van lifers. I tried my hand at cattle roping. I'm proud to say I got it on the third try. I think I'm a natural and ready for my rodeo tour. They even offer horseback rides if you are so inclined. Keep shaking your head yes. What are you trying to say? Should people hit the like and subscribe button? We're leaving the ranch now and we're just gonna continue along this dirt road. It goes along the entire coast. So I just kinda wanna drive everywhere I possibly can during my time here so I can see as much as possible. Feel the same. Seven miles per hour is about max speed we can go on this road without feeling like the tires are gonna fall off. There's a buffalo right by the road. I don't know why I'm whispering, I'm in the car with the windows rolled up. Wow, what a cool beast. His head is gigantic. It's like too big for his body. Hi buddy, have a good time grazing. We've reached the end. It was a beautiful drive and worth taking. Jam. Oh my gosh. How cool. They are fast. I came back to our campsite to watch the sunset and it is gorgeous. Okay, I gotta go put pants and a sweater on because the bugs are all biting. Okay, let's try this again. The campsite that I picked does not allow campfires, which is fine because the bugs are so bad. If there's like a little exposed piece of skin, there's like a swarm of five of them ready to eat you. So I'm probably just going to get the car ready for bed soon and do some computer work, then probably watch YouTube till I'm tired. So I will catch you in the morning. Good night. I slept in today, it's almost eight o'clock. I guess I just needed it. I just stepped out of the car to go to the restroom and it is freaking gorgeous. It smells like the ocean here, like salty and fishy. Yeah, I feel like I'm waking up at the beach, which I kind of am, but just the salt lake beach. All right, let's make coffee and go to the water. I didn't get up for sunrise because I had watched sunset and that was pretty and I didn't want to like film both of them. That's a little redundant. And then I was like, well, do I want to get up, you know, just for myself? And I was like, nah, I've seen so many beautiful sunrises. I'll just sleep in, but 
this is like, I don't know, it's like a postcard. And I'm here, there's one other camper that's on the other side. But I have this entire beach totally to myself. And my favorite part is it smells like the ocean. Like I'm such an ocean girl. And sunrise on the Atlantic beach, mm, it's hard to beat that. But this, I don't know, if this had waves, it would win of best sunrise beaches <laughs> in my experience. I don't know, it's still light. It's so pretty. There's so many gorgeous colors and cool rocks. There are mountains all around you. You almost have like 360 water view. There's a little bit of land back here where I was camping, but dude, this is awesome. The sun's up pretty high now and all the colors are gone, so I'm headed back to the car to make breakfast. I carried all the breakfast stuff down to our campsite because we didn't sleep here and we paid for it, so we might as well use it. Chase is just hanging out by the food, per usual. For breakfast this morning, I'm making hot oatmeal. I'm gonna top it with walnut, cinnamon, and honey. Normally I measure the water, but I'm just feeling like eyeballing it today. It's gonna taste good no matter what. Next, I want to swim in the Great Salt Lake. It is two to nine times as salty as the ocean, and that amount of salt supposedly will float your body when you're swimming. So I really wanna experience that. Yesterday it was pretty hot and would have been a perfect time for a swim, but there is almost no shade on this island, so there really wouldn't have been anywhere to leave Chase safely. So this morning's pretty chilly and safe for Chase to be in the car. And I guess if one of us has to be uncomfortable, it should be me. I anticipate it being kind of cold, but still an awesome experience. It's pretty far to the water though. I have maybe like a quarter mile walk, I'm guessing by looking at it. There still are a few mosquitoes this morning, so I'm getting bit a little bit, but nothing like last night. <laughs> I'm approaching the water and it looks really muddy and shallow, so I imagine this is gonna be a dirty experience, but the campground has showers I can use after this. I tried to take my sandals off to just walk on the beach, but it is as hard as a rock and there are little pieces of shells and all kinds of dangers here, so I guess the flaps are staying on. As expected, the water is frigid. At least it's windy today too. This is just something I have to do though, to say I swam in the Great Salt Lake. I read online that some experts estimate that the Great Salt Lake could be gone in five years due to climate change. So this could be a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's actually not so bad once your legs get used to it. I think they just might be numb though. The water is pretty gross and like I said, you can't really walk on the beach with bare feet. So this is not like, whoa, 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 I got stuck in mud, hold on. <laughs> I need water shoes. I have very cheap flip flops that are probably gonna break on this expedition. Anyway, this is probably not for you if you get grossed out by dirty stuff. But again, once in a lifetime opportunity, you gotta do it. I walked out pretty far. Like that's the tripod right there where I started and I'm still only two my legs. I'm really just trying to get deep enough that if I lay down, I can confirm I float. I think I found my spot to lay down. Hesitating, it's cold. <laughs> like I know the best thing to do is just dunk, get it over with, but it's hard to make yourself do that. Okay, trying for down. <gasps> Woo! Woo! Refreshing! Are there fish in this lake? <laughs> Oh, it's just my bikini string <laughs> touched my back. 
this view is epic though like physically this sucks but emotionally it's a high are you gonna try to float oh my god i'm floating dude i'm freaking floating in the great salt lake oh my god this is oh this is awesome if you wiggle a little bit you might go under but if you hold still you totally float I was just gonna dip in here to say that I did it and then get out, but I'm actually really enjoying this now, now that my body's got used to the cold. I can't feel the wind under the water. <laughs> the views of the mountains are so freaking awesome. Dude, I'm staying here for a minute. There's no one on this beach, so I have it to myself. It's like I rented the Great Salt Lake Spa all to myself today. <laughs> I could stay here all day, but there's still more of the island to explore, so I'm gonna head to the showers and then we'll see what's left to see on this island. The salt dried. And it looks like I have a frosted body. <laughs> All right, we're at Ladyfinger Campground and the only showers for campers are at Bridger Bay Campground. So we've got a little bit of a drive. I've got a salty mosquito bite covered arm, but I'm a happy lady. I'm so tempted just to like take a little lick of the salt just to see what it tastes like. Screw it. Whoa, that's salty. Doesn't taste gross, just tastes salty. First bison sighting of the day. I've cleaned up the car, so I'm ready to start the day. What I'd like to do next is just hit up all the places we missed yesterday. We are headed up a huge hill right now to what's called Buffalo Point, which is a really nice overlook. Looks like they have a really short but awesome looking trail as well. Oh, they have a really nice picnic area up here too. Almost looks like the lake is steaming. Adventuring is hard work, isn't it, bubs? We are on our way to check out the third campground and picnic area. And there's another bison. Wow, this area has like a whole different type of vegetation. Oh cool, there's a little trail through them even. Wow, they're like as tall as corn stalks. Oh, I wanna go through this trail to the end, but I can't leave poor Chasey in the car, so this will have to do. But this is awesome. Wow, it looks like you can drive to the end of this peninsula. We're gonna find out anyway. I hope there's a turnaround up there, otherwise I am backing out this whole way. Awesome, there's a turnaround. How cool is this? I feel like I've driven so far, like, onto the lake. Thank you guys for coming along with us on Antelope Island. I hope you had as much fun as we did. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.